Welcome to the At Home Net Feature Support Series on Widgets. For this demonstration, we're going to learn how to move a widget and create a new widget. First, log in as an administrator to your website. If you are on your private home page, you will see these two tabs. Click on the Edit Page tab on the top right corner. You will initially get this pop-up box. It's letting you know that you are now in edit mode and when you have completed customizing the page to click the done button in the top right. For this demonstration I'm going to check the box so that it will not show this message every time we edit the page. The first thing we want to do is customize our public home page. So we're going to click on the public tab. Currently we have the information that was in our edit feature description area. But now we have the flexibility to add more features to our home page. Let's say we want to add specific announcements to the public side of our website. First we're going to click on Edit Page and now we're going to add announcements. After selecting the option we want we click Next and you'll see here that we have two options as to how we can lay out the announcements. For this demonstration we want one single list. We also want to make this only our favorite announcement so they show on the public side and we are going to rename it. We only want four items to show up here. So we select four and hit apply. When adding a new widget make sure you scroll down to the bottom of your page because all new widgets will be applied to the bottom. Here you can see the widget that we created. We named it Lily Meadows Events and we said we wanted it to show four of our favorite announcements. Currently there are no announcements marked as favorites but we can take care of that by going to our announcements tab and selecting the announcements that we want to put into our favorites category on the public side of the website. Now that we've selected these announcements as favorites we can go back to our home page click on our public tab and you will see that now our three favorite announcements are showing up visibly within our widget that we created. Now let's customize the page so that it looks a little nicer. We're going to click on edit and we want to change the format of this feature description here. We can do this by clicking on edit properties we're going to make it a small region and hit apply. Now what this has done is made our feature description a vertical format and put our announcements next to it. But because of the layout of the page we want to customize it by moving our widget to the right side. After clicking on done we can go to our private home page and customize that as well by clicking on the private tab you will notice that in the private tab you have more options as far as what you can insert into the private home page. For example, you can insert the user profile because users are now logged in and have an identity. And we can add announcements to our private site as well. By doing this we can customize the announcements a little bit differently than we had them on the public side. For this demonstration, the private side announcements is going to show everything that's newest under the announcements category. We are not going to select favorites and we want to show 10 and we want to list them side by side. New widgets go to the bottom of the page and you will see here that our most recent announcements are now on our private home page. Along with our events calendar, what's new, user profile, search the website, and our feature description. Once you have added all the widgets and customized your private and public home page, click on the done button and take all the credit for having such a beautiful private and public home page. No one has to know how easy it was by using widgets. We hope you enjoyed the video please visit our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash at home net.